Let's first see uh, what is central limit theorem. Let x1, x2 up to xn be an independent sample from a population with mean mu and standard deviation sigma. When the sample size n is large enough, the sample mean x bar approximately follows a normal distribution with mean mu and standard deviation sigma over square root n. So let's see use the following example to demonstrate uh, how to use uh, this result. A, a population of males has a mean salary of uh, $29,321 with a standard deviation of 2,120. If a sample size of 100 men is taken, what is the probability that their, sal uh, their mean salary mean salary will fall between these two numbers. So this problem is asking about uh, mean salary. According to central limit theory, so mean salary approximately follows a normal distribution. So the first step, we need to figure out uh, the mean and the standard deviation for the distribution of mean salary. Okay. So according to central limit theory, so the mean will be the mean of here. Okay, it's basically so mean does not change. But the variance, I mean, but the standard deviation uh, is reduced, right? Because right now, see, uh, the stand, stand deviation of the salary is this one. Yeah, but uh, the standard deviation of the mean salary will be divided by square root n. So in this case, uh, because a sample of 100 men is taken, basically, so this just means n equal to 100, right? So standard deviation here is sigma divided by square root n. So we do the math, we got uh, the standard deviation of x bar is 220. Yeah, so basically, this just says x bar follows a normal distribution. Uh, the mean is 29,321 and the standard deviation will be 212. Yeah, so with this information, so then we will be able to know, uh, we will be able to calculate the probability that x bar uh, fall between uh, 29,000 and uh, 30,000. Okay, so basically, so this is what we want to calculate here. If we want to calculate uh, the probability involving a normal distribution, a normal random variable, so the first step is we need to calculate this score. This score, right? So recall that this score is equal to basically uh, the number divided by uh, sub subtract the mean and divided by standard deviation. Yeah, so this is why, basically here you can see, uh, this is mean, this is mean, this is standard deviation, this is standard deviation, right? Yeah, so, so here, so we write, uh, replace this x bar by z, yeah, because uh, after standardization, and so then we got the z score. So the probability that x bar fall between 29,000 and 30,000 is equal to this one, yeah. Essentially, this step is to calculate the z-score of each of them. So then we do the math, and we, we get this step, right? So p, um, so we just want to know the z uh, for between negative 1.51 and uh, 3.2. Okay, so then the next step, yeah, because, see, if you want to know the probability that, suppose, so this is negative 1.51, uh, this is 3.2, right? So if we know, want to know the probability in this area, right? So we can calculate, first calculate uh, the probability in this whole area. So basically, so this is, ju this is just uh, this smaller than uh, 3.2. And then subtract the probability in this small area. Yeah, so, so this is just uh, this less than probability of the smaller than negative 1.51.
Okay, so then we calculate uh, these two probabilities separately and do the math and calculate the difference. And so then this gives us uh, the, the answer. Uh, to, if you want to get to know this probability, so you can use a normal table. Okay, or if you want, you can also use Excel.